It's Monday the 26th of November. I've actually got the date right. And um, I didn't do one yesterday, so this behind the scenes starts today on the Monday. Now, in last week, if you were watching the Board Explorer, obviously was out about doing the old Board Exploring. Today, I'm in my tatty clothes, I'm in my kitchen. It's a bit of a transformation. We've got the wall painted. I've got some tiles on the walls. Mr. Suggett is here, who's very kindly come to help me plumb in the, uh, the new Essie Ironheart, which I have purchased and, uh, and, you know, it's arrived, ladies and gentlemen. And here it is. What do you think, Richard? It looks stunning, I have to say. It is, a, it, I mean, we haven't lit it yet. Um, gonna light it shortly, gonna try it out, get it going. However, <laughs> We've got a laugh. There are a few issues. Now, when I went into the shop, and I went into a shop, I didn't order this online, when I went into the shop, I, I was originally after a Rayburn, and then I discovered that Rayburns were no longer made in the UK, and it was difficult to get out, get out I think they're owned by an American company, difficult to um, get the parts, I was told, and I was introduced to an alternative, which is the Essie. Now that, that wasn't in the shop. I, I already knew I wanted an Essie. I looked at it and I thought, yes, it's an old English firm since 1854, I think it says. Yep. 1854, just down there. Established. And um, so that's what I wanted. I'd read up about it and all the rest of it. You can get them with boilers. My only problem was the boiler is on the left-hand side and my pipes coming down from my heater is on the right. right. But actually, Mr. Suggett said, that's all right. We, we can, can just... run them behind or underneath yeah. or wherever. So I went into a shop, found this shop. It was on the way to Biddenden at Heathfield. They did it. I went specifically to that shop and I said to them, I'm interested in a, an essay, uh, Ironheart, and also another, another fire for my front room, which is still in a box. That uh, has arrived. I've got to look at that in a minute. But here's the thing. I asked for a boiler. And um, I was going to plug and a stove pipe, which is this, um, and the SE. And I was going to install it myself. No problem at all, sir. We'll give you a discount. We'll make sure you've got two stove pipes. You'll have the boiler and the SE, uh, and that's it. And I, they quoted me a price. I paid 20% deposit. Then about a week ago, I paid the rest of the money, and it was coming today. What went wrong, Richard? We got too excited. As soon as they turned up, your face was like, you know, there was a smile from ear to ear. I was excited. And but then they like, unloaded it. Yeah, took a long time to get it in because it's very heavy. Yeah. yeah. So it was on a pallet, on a, uh, on a trolley. Is, yeah. And I, it's, it's not the easiest area to get in and out. No, it's, it's like a sort that. of an L shape to get yeah. in down the alley of the back garden and then in here. In here. And we could have, I could have cleared more space if they needed it, but they thought, no, no, we'll oh, get away okay. with it. They did um, damage my door coming in. Mm -hmm. um, door frame. Door frame. And a little bit of my step, the concrete step. But that was fine. I didn't, I wasn't, oh, that can be repaired. I was more, you know, keen to get it in because all those things are minor. Got it in, and I was looking at the pipes where you connect the uh, boiler to, so we knew. So we knew where to connect it, and everything out. And I assumed it was on the inside, and they said, "Oh, there's no boiler on this one." Yeah. I said, uh, "What? No boiler?" But the whole point. I said, "Look, there's copper pipes here. Richard's plumbing it in for me. We're all ready. That's the whole point. I've spent money on the pipes. The whole point is to save." money it's not just a vanity thing and so they said oh well that can be retrofitted it's not easy but it can be done it's like oh okay fine fine i spoke to the owner and they weren't very helpful the owner of the business didn't seem very helpful didn't seem like oh i'm ever so sorry about that sir and oh golly you know there must have been a mix-up or we didn't actually quote for for that and blah 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 none of that it was like Sounds like it's not a one-off incident. And then, got it into here, 
and I just they were sort of almost ready to go and I said you've got a pipe then presumably they said what, what do you mean a pipe I said well you're going to leave me like this I've got no pipe no this this bit here is a, a separate unit to this it's a six inch supposedly luckily in my shed I had a five inch from previous um, fires and they had a, an adapter they had some sort of adapter so we've kind of cobbled something together for the next 24 hours and they are going to bring round a proper pipe but you, I, well, I don't know whether they're going to charge me for it or what they're going to do I'm not a happy customer the thing is nobody's rung me up now and said are you a happy customer we're going to try and sort this out nobody's been in touch since just the delivery boys and they were you know they were as nice as pie they could only do so much they couldn't make decisions right. So I feel a bit let down. Well, we've got our SE Ironheart installed. There's been a few issues with it that wasn't as <laughs> promised when I purchased it, but that said, it's here. We've got some logs underneath, as you can see, and inside, I've got a little bit of kindling and a fire lighter. So all that's left now, oh yeah, that's typical. <laughs> I can't get this to work. Why? Oh, because the lock is on. Oh no. I have a. There we are. I have a temperamental lighter. So, what I've got to do is light that, get it going, smoke. Hopefully, we'll go up the chimney and hopefully, we won't have too many accidents. Standing by or out of frame is the very nice Mr. Suggett. And also, Billy, my son, is also standing by just in case. On fire duty. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's do it. Uh, I think everything is in the right place. Can't remember now whether that's good. Everything's to the left, isn't it? Clockwise, that one. So let's just see what happens. I've opened a flue. Of course, now <laughs> it's stuck again. <laughs> oh, there it is. So it's a little waxy jobby in there. You've opened the flue. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah. So look, you have to tell me about that. There's a flue knob as well. We've got some light, uh, I need a little bit more kindling. I'm going to put my kindling over here. Put the kindling over here. Of course, it's going to take a hell of a long time before it's um, warm, because there's, there's a lot of steel to heat up. It's called an iron heart, but uh, it's actually a lot of steel. I've run out of kindling. I've got to say, this steel is actually very cold as well. But. You can hear it crackling. It's Monty Python's Flying Circus. No, it's not. It's Tuesday, the 27th of November. November. Tuesday, 27th of November. Hey, wait! <laughs> Back in the kitchen. I haven't been here all this time just snuggling up to my lovely essence. Liar! Yeah, true. <laughs> I have. Uh, got a pan of hot water on there, making some water soup for the lovely Julia. Stone soup. Yes, to keep her nutritional mineral water flavourings up. <laughs> mineral water flavourings up? Yeah, something like right. that. I don't know. Anyway, point is, um, it's the next day. And <laughs> this is good. The thing has worked. It stayed going all night. I know you're really excited about this, and I am anyway. I have spoken to the company. Got a number of things sorted. They're sending out the new boiler. Hopefully, in the next couple of days, it will be here. Is it warm? Yes. <laughs> it's hard. I had my arm rested on there. It was all cosy and nice. And You've I had some it. food. Skin exposed on there. We've had um. Uh, what did we scrambled up eggs? Scrambled up eggs. <laughs> we had scrambled, yeah, we scrambled up. Scrambled up some eggs. Yeah, and they tasted nice, didn't they? They did. Didn't taste rubbish. Um, and we've had some apple kick kiplings apple pies. Warm them up in the thing, so in the oven, because everything's got a proper name as well as thing, but in my world it's just a thing. Anyway, these Ew, came in the post. I don't know who they're from, I don't know where they're from, but one here <gasps> that's says... That's got my name on it. Yeah, that's for me. And that one's, That's got your name on that's it. That's for me. So, thanks very much. Oh, it's really for you. You just burnt yourself. No, not again, but it's... Uh, it's catching, isn't it? It's stinging now. I'm like, no, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, well, well, let's open these and you can go and do something. Um, like, heal yourself. I'm so mean. 
So thank you very much. If you want to send a present to the old um, Vobes, you're very welcome, of course. Go open these cards from Marks and Spencers. I've just seen the M&S on the side. Uh, this oh, cute. one, oh yeah, different. Uh, this one says, Deck the Halls with Milk and Honey. Dear Richard, Happy Christmas and a New Year to Vicky Alum. Alum. Thank you, Vicky. That's very kind. Tis season. I tis put the, it on there, but it'll catch on fire. So. Tis the season to be joyful. Oh. Cute. Cutie. And we got some presents. So. Uh, Thank you, Vicky. I'll open mine before you get to you. Oh, hello. Oh. I'm not going to open mine because I've just seen what it is. Uh, I'm going to wait till you open yours. Very pretty. What is it? Probably similar to yours, gone. Well, mine's a bit <laughs> strange. I think we got. I think we got a bit mixed up because. Yeah, because this is a, this is a silvery unicorn. And this is a, a lovely, very lovely. <gasps> Wait. Ta-da! Oh wow! See that? Yeah. How yeah. Cool so that? I think this is really for you. Do you know what's cool? Is that I ordered something like this. Yeah. Online. And it, it, it had it, except it was painted differently, and it was made of something different. But it was exactly the same, like shape and stuff. yeah. But, um, but the, bo good. the body was a different composition to the, uh, the 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 legs, the head, and stuff. The horn had broken off, and but it was very pretty. But this is lovely, much more quality. It's great. Thank you ever so much. So there you are Vicky. Um, the price oh, on four hundred and fifty-two oh, pounds, batteries included. So we're really happy, really thrilled. That's really nice. Very pretty. And uh, thank you. Ever so kind of ya. What the hell will tomorrow bring? Oh wait, I think we're going from one old-fashioned type stove in a kitchen to maybe another old-fashioned type thing in the kitchen. Yeah. Well, it's um, the twenty-eighth, I think. Of uh, November 2018 and I'm back in the Regency townhouse. Lovely Paul Couchman and the lovely Julia is here. Hello lovely Julia. Hello lovely Richard. What are we here to do today? We are filming. Mr Couchman, okay. come over here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we've, we've, Hi. we've invaded your domain again. It's never an invasion. Oh well that's <laughs> all right. Everyone, cameras, we have cameras has lights. Has and all that. So, um, we're filming um, today, this morning, in your lovely kitchen. It's coming up for Christmas. I wonder what possible uh, things that we might be making. Well, we're filming, um, that you're making. Yeah, I'm making it. Uh, Christmas puddings. It's all about the Christmas pudding today. Do oh, traditional Christmas Traditional pudding. Regency yeah. Christmas pudding. I feel like we should have been wearing Christmas jumpers. It's, yeah, it's just coming that way because you're just a little bit. Um, yeah, and there we should be. Did the Regency, Where? what do the Regency people wear at Christmas? Good question. I don't think there are any Christmas jumpers. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a relatively that's... new thing. Yeah, it's exactly. probably American. Probably. <laughs> Even dressing up for Christmas is relatively new. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I, guess... I suppose you wear your best Where things. Wear your best, yeah. So it's probably exactly. the things you wear to church. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So, um, what's our new, what difference is in there, is there between what you would have today as a Christmas pudding from Sainsbury's or wherever, yeah. other supermarkets are available, uh, and a cooked one by the chef in a Regency townhouse. Um, well, there's, one, uh, there's a few different things actually. One, one I'm using a pudding cloth, so originally, instead of pudding basins, they would have done it in a cloth. In a cloth. And this is the cloth I'm going to use today. It's basically an old pillowcase, which they would have used as well. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So use any bit of old cloth. Yeah. And this, in the 1600s, was new technology. So the pudding was invented, or the first recipe was, was discovered in 1600. Right. And they started cooking puddings in a pudding cloth. What you do is you cover it with flour, um, it stops the water getting in. It right. It's a sort of seal. So it seals in there with a bit of string at the top. That's right. And, and then you steam it? Yeah, you put it in boiling water, actually. Oh, so you just immerse it? Yeah, immerse it, yeah. Oh, wow. And if the water's hot enough and, the, and you floured it correctly, you form a sort of layer on the outside. Oh, I see. Yeah. So it doesn't, water water it doesn't... Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was going to say, if you get water comes, it'll just break apart, won't it? Exactly. Well, you'll have to uh, wait for the video, obviously, um, which we have yet to start, but we're almost there. All the ingredients are here, so very much looking forward to it. 
Thank you, Paul. That's okay. Fantastic. It's the 29th of November 2018. It's Julia's birthday. The lovely Julia. She's been over, she's uh, brought her mum and they had soup with me this afternoon in the new kitchen admiring the Essie. But uh, she had to go off because uh, she was picking up her son and they're out for a nice evening meal with her family, with her husband and her mum and her child. And, and so that's very nice and I hope they're having a lovely time. I, on the other hand, the Balding Explorer, uh, is uh, at home here and look, this is the second of the fire, the two fires of, um, out of my inheritance money that I have bought and have um, installed now. It's only temporarily installed actually because um, I had to take that out, uh, take the old one out um, and I need to clean the chimney but the weather was so grim and horrible I want a nice still day to clean the chimney. I don't want a windy day because all the dust and stuff will billow around the house so we don't want any of that. Um, and also I was waiting for a new chimney plate. Well I have one. This is the chimney plate. So this goes in the chimney, in there, fixes just above the pipe and it basically stops all the crap coming down and the pipe goes up there. You can see the silver pipe there. I actually have a tin of spray. They give me a tin of spray. I said well you know you can spray it black. So I so said, that's great. So it's installed. For the Essie in the kitchen, I have another one. This is a slightly smaller one, and that's going to fit on the little chimney as well. Uh, no, I'm not going to put my head through it. Now, the other good news, ladies and gentlemen, is you know that at the beginning of the week I was a bit worried and I was complaining that the boiler wasn't in. Well, it's amazing what happens with a little bit of um, firm talk and actually they've been very good, I have to say, since the uh, the problem. It was, obviously, you know, people make mistakes, so I'm quite forgiving on that side of things. And I now have... I now have the boiler, which in itself is another lump of steel and here it is so this side fits on the side the firebox side of the SE it's bloody heavy and it's only got one screw which is incredible it must clunk into place and then into here go the hot water the water is in here it fills up, it gets hot, and then it goes around the system. So that is it. So I may get that plumbed in on Saturday uh, if the weather is rubbish. Mr. Suggett and I was going to go out for a walk and do some filming. But if not, I will utilise Mr. Suggett's time to help attach that to the SE. And then at last I can have some hot water, which would be fantastic. My house has never been so warm. In fact, it's it's just too warm, really. I'm uh, I'm I'm over overheating. I, I know I've got this on, but this shirt is um, not ironed. <laughs> I didn't want to come on with a messy shirt. But here am I sitting by my fire. It's lovely. It's lovely. It looks beautiful, and um, I can just relax now. I love it. It's what is it? Saturday. Yep. Only just. Yeah. Only just, it's Saturday the 1st of December 2018. It is two or three minutes past 11 in the evening, so we've got less than an hour before it is in fact Sunday! Hey! hey. Yes. And we have been uh, uh, working very hard on the lovely essay. Uh, you'll recognise Mr. Suggett, of course. We've got the lovely Julia and himself. Uh, you may th remember at the beginning of the week, it was Monday. Of course it was Funny Monday. That. Funny that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Odd. And we had the essay delivered. You will remember that there was the issues, the problems with the back boiler and all of that. Um, and I remember that recording that one. I can't remember what you've just seen in the week because <laughs> this week seems to have been a long one. Yeah. Um, anyway, Mr. Suggett is here because at... Uh, Nine o'clock this morning? Yeah. Over, what is that, 12, 14, 14 hours ago, we started work on plumbing in 
The back boiler. Yeah, that's right, because you would have seen, you would have seen the back boiler, uh, I held it up and talked about it, and here he is. So, yeah, yeah sorry, I'm a bit confused, because it's been a long time. It's been a long time as well, we're by, we're knackered. We're knackered. We're knackered. We are knackered. We're I mean, knackered. you look absolutely, because I'm still, you know, full of energy, full of energy, <laughs> sprightly, just for the camera. Uh, what, what do you mean for the camera? Mm. No, I'm knackered, absolutely knackered. Um, I'm used to working this late, so I'm probably a bit more... Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm not used to working this. I'm in bed at this time. Anyway, the point is, uh, just a quick resume. One of the um, issues we we had a number of problems, haven't we? Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so we'll do this very very quickly because otherwise it will be a very long video. Um, where the back boiler? We thought the back boiler would do one thing and it'd be a ten minute job. What did we think it would do when we connected it? We thought remove this panel. Yeah. And it bolts on to that panel or in that area. Yeah, which is what we've seen all over the place on. Well, on, on there's a YouTube video sh somebody showing how bat boiler fits on. Ten minute job, piece of cake. Only, oh. it wasn't a ten minute job, and it wasn't a piece of cake, <laughs> because it, it didn't fit on that underneath that panel. It had to fit inside the Burner. firebox. Yeah. Uh, which, in order to get it in the firebox, we had to do a number of things. What things did we have to do, Mr. Suggett? We had to remove the fire bricks. All remove, the fire bricks. Remove this top sheet of metal that acts as like an exhaust flute, flume. Yeah. We had to take the grate out take at the, the bottom. Grate out, offer we, it in. Offer, offer the back it in. in. It fitted. It, fitted. it did fit. It fitted nicely, yeah. but we couldn't get all the fire bricks back in. And one in particular, we had to get the angle grinder out. I had it. to cut it and trim it, and that was a palaver. We yeah. were outside doing that for a bit. Then another fire brick had to be cut. We yeah. had to do that. The grate wouldn't go back in. Yeah. It's now at an angle because it can't go down because the the back boiler is too proud because of the welds that they did. So it didn't fit. It fitted in, but it's not snug. It's not snug. So everything is just. You know when you pack your your suitcase to go on holiday and it's all perfectly done, yeah. you know, it's all fitting nicely and then you realise, hang on a minute, I need that thing right in the middle so you have to unpack it and then you can't get it back in the way it yeah. was before that's what it reminds me of Yeah, yeah. it's pretty much like pretty that much, yeah. But that's okay, so the grate is a little bit on the side it was very disappointing, I was a bit upset about that but I got over it because you can live with it, it's just a little bit crooked but who cares, once the logs are in there and burning it should be fine So that was, we got that, we got over that Got over that Absolutely. The rest should be easy. And it so, was relatively easy, to be fair. Well, back to that bit. Ten minute job, we thought. Took four hours. It did take four hours, yeah. All of that took four hours. Which set us a bit back. Uh, well, four hours back, to be yeah. honest. So then we had all the pipe work to put in. Um, which was just a case of cutting the pipe in the right places, rubbing it up and seeing how it will go together before we do all the soldering and everything. Which... We've done. Which we, we have achieved. We that. have achieved that, and we've achieved that. And Mr. Suggett has worked his um, bollocks off. I'm going to say it. He has worked. So have you. So have he's you. worked his bollocks off. Uh, we had a few things where we were short on a couple of items. We knew we were going to be missing a few items, so we had to quickly go up to the suppliers and get some bits and bobs, and come back. And then there was another thing, and we had to come back. And then they gave us the wrong pipe, and yeah. we the wrong diameter pipe. So we got that, and then we had to take it back and. And we're fiddling and farting with that. We had a nut which we lost. We don't yeah. know where it went. It, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. So we had to go back and get another nut and come back. But all this was time. Yeah. We're getting a bit tired. The lovely Julia said, "Have you eaten?" No, we haven't. We can't cook anything because the SE is off, obviously. So she very kindly went and got us some sandwiches. Yeah, made mm. some sandwiches. Our hero. Our hero. So then, you know, we carried on, and then she said, what, are you still at it? So suddenly, uh, the oh, next... Oh, you guys phoned up because you oh, yeah. didn't find the solder. So we... the solder that was supposedly ordered and picked up a week ago, and they don't remember seeing it, they can't find it anywhere, so they phoned me up. Have you got any solder? I'm like, solder, hun, have you got any solder? He's like, let me go look. So he goes, look, find something that's, that's solder, but it's not... It wasn't really the proper solder, solder. It was proper needed, so I brought it along anyway because we thought maybe it would do we, something. But yeah, it's the same sort of stuff. It was just too thin; it melts too quickly. So, so um, we'll show it there, upstairs. No. 
Yeah, we ordered the solder. We thought we had the solder, and when we got all the rest of the pipes, before the SE arrived, we had what we thought was everything. And this one thing which, if I checked, we could have got. We tried the other solder, that's no good. So we've become defeated uh, because we can't get all this 30... 34 welds. 34 welds, 34 joints to be welded up. And we started at about half past 10, something like that, quarter past 10, and we realised the solder that we had wasn't going to work. It was too laborious. Too late. too late to go to a shop. Too late, we were stuck. We had to stop. So the end of this week, sorry this has been a long segment, but the end of this week... We have a lovely SE that works beautifully, but we can't turn it on because we can't put water, we can't heat it up with the new back boiler on without it got water in. We can't put water in because we haven't soldered the joints, yet we have it all, yeah. you know, like Meccano, it's all together. Uh, so we can't, I can't heat the house, luckily it's mild at the moment. I can't cook. I can't get to the old gas cooker pipe because the S is in the way. And um, what's the other thing we can't do with it? Heat the water. Can't heat the water, which is the which was the main which point. Which is the now. point. I still have the immersion heater connected, so I can do it the old-fashioned way. So not going to die or anything. But at least you've had some korma. But I've had some korma, oh, Julia. As I had over. to come back with the solder, I, I shared out the dinner, didn't I? She shared yeah. out her dinner. She's been our saviour. Oh, so and well, she's been there been sort of it so making hard. so that's where we are uh so that's the end of this week do tune in next week and find out whether the se is working mr suggett can't come back tomorrow so i'm going to get a blowtorch and some solder and i've not really done this before and i'm going to try and solder it together and then i'm going to see if it all works and it may it will. It, it may. Will. It may blow up, ladies and gentlemen. It will work. I've got faith in you. You'll probably know by the end <laughs> of the week if it's worked because it'll be all over Facebook. All over and the news. It'll be over the news and. Uh, Worthing. I would have, you know, topped myself or something. Um, <laughs> I won't. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Sugar, for your hard, hard oh, work. Sorry, I couldn't finish it. And thank you, Julia, for coming in with the food and looking after us and keeping yeah. our spirits up. And thank you for watching. But the saga of the SE is not over yet. You'll be sick and tired of it. That looked fun. Can I do that? <laughs> do you want to go? Yeah, go on then. Yeah. Oh, I've black eggs now. <laughs> Anybody got any paracetamol? <laughs> Splitting headache. <laughs>